I am going to solve this problem 3 5 in this problem it is said that the roller stand is used to support portions of long boards as they are being cut on a table saw. If the board exerts a 25 Newton downward force on the roller C, so this board applies 25 Newton force on this roller C in the downward direction. So it is said that determine the vertical reactions at A and D. So if if this is the force at this point C, let me try it. This force is acting vertically downward at this point C. And the magnitude of this force is 25 Newtons, right? So it is said that find the vertical reactions at A and D, right? So this will be the reactions at A and D if I draw it here, right? So the reaction will be in the opposite direction. right and this will be the reaction at point D. So if we say that this is the normal at A, normal force at A and normal force at D, right? So we are asked to find these normal forces. If this, if there is a 25 Newton force at, the, at this point C. So again these forces are parallel, right? So we need to find the summation of moment at point A let's say is equal to 0 right so if we apply this equilibrium condition the summation of moment at point A equals to 0 right so and let's say that clockwise moment is negative right so as we can see that if this 25 Newton force is producing the clockwise moment at this point A so we will write that 25 and the perpendicular distance of this 25 Newton from this point A is this much 235 mm right so I will write 235 mm and since this moment is clockwise so we will put minus sign here right and now as we can see that this and D is producing counterclockwise moment at this point A right so we will write plus and we will write N D and the perpendicular distance of N D from A is 355 mm, right? So I will write 355 and this will be equal to 0, right? This N A will never produce the moment at this point since this vector is passing through this point, right? The center of rotation. So this N D will be equal to plus 25 into 235 divided by 355 right so this will give us nd so if i solve it so nd comes out to be 16.55 newtons right so this is the reaction at point d and to find the reaction at point a what we will do we will apply this equation the second condition for equilibrium that the summation of forces along y is equal to zero and this is positive x axis and this is positive y right so this direction is positive. So we will write an A plus an D and the an D magnitude is 16.55, right? So this is an D minus 25 equals to 0, right? So this will be an A will be equal to 25 minus 16.55 and this will give us 8.45 newtons, right? So this is the solution of this problem.